measuring out my flower now. Uh, I've been keeping my flower in Tupperware because we had a weevil problem just before lockdown, uh, which was not great. Uh, but we have some now, which is exciting. Um, so it's it might it seems very ambitious, I think, to have done such a overlapping, um, complicated narrative for my first graphic novel. Um, but so many of my favourite stories are fractured narratives. My my favourite novels. Um, are things like Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger, um, The Night Circus by Erin Aaron Morgenstern, and um, Kate Atkinson's Fractured Narratives that she does. I really love uh, the way that a story is crafted to have a single emotional journey but have many overlapping elements and sort of jumping around. Um, although Biscuits is relatively chronological, it just has a lot of different elements to it. My uh, yeah, I think a lot of my favourite writers now are women, but that's not how I necessarily grew up. I read a lot of fantasy when I was growing up, um, a lot of sort of Douglas Adams, Neil Gaiman, Terry Pratchett, those kind of things. Um, although also Ursula Le Guin, Anne McCaffrey, I get from my parents, a very fantasy household. Um, my, my introduction to comics, in my childhood we had sort of Posey Simmons and Asterix books, and then I ended up getting into uh, Vertigo comics mostly, and some uh, Rumiko Takashi, just through chance and what I happen to have in the local library and what kind of caught my eye when I started going to comic shops when I was a teenager. So I've never really been into like reading very many superhero comics, although I did enjoy the cartoons and I do enjoy the films. Um, so I think even from a from a young age, I, I didn't see that as being the main thing that comics were. I knew that it was a a broad genre that could have a lot of different potential. I studied illustration at university, and I, I basically decided to do that when I realised that there was a, uh, a sort of a career that enabled me to combine my two favourite subjects as a teenager, which were art and English, which made sense. <laughs> So I saw that as kind of like a, combining my two great loves, which is pictures and stories. And I've always been just very interested in the way that images and text together communicate. I'm realising now that I'm making sound with this. I'll just finish it up. All right. Okay. I'm going to put... Um, the recipe just says cinnamon and ginger, but I'm going to add some allspice because I'm a maverick. We have these amazing spice pots that go in the fridge. We always get a lot of compliments on them. Ginger is excellent. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, um, I didn't originally know that I was going to call the book Biscuits, obviously. It, it's because it's in London and they're kind of cookie cutters. So we call cookies biscuits. It's not. It's a fairly, fairly simple metaphor. Allspice. 